The birth and growth of Lane College is an exciting chapter in American history. Lane College had its beginning through the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. After the Emancipation Proclamation, founders of the religious organizations realized that they were not educationally prepared to advance as recently freed slaves. Thus, the need to establish schools that supported this cause was formed. During the CME General Conference of 1873, bishops of the CME Church decided to identify sites for potential colleges and universities. After a few years of prayer, planning, and fundraising, the following schools were established. Lane College, Miles College, Payne College, and Texas College. The idea to open a school in Tennessee was presented by Reverend J.K. Daniels under the leadership of Bishop Isaac Lane. Lane College opened its doors on November 12, 1882 to 27 students under the name of the CME High School with his daughter, Jenny E. Lane, as the first teacher. Bray Hall, the crown jewel of the campus, was built in 1905 on the original location of the CME High School. The third floor houses the Office of the President, Academic Affairs, and the historic Wall of the Presidents. Located on the second floor are the offices of admissions, financial aid, the registrar, and the cashier's office. Classrooms and Veterans Affairs are located on the first floor. J.K. Daniels Conference Center is a historic facility named in honor of a revered CME minister and one of the founding fathers of Lane College. The building houses two large conference rooms, three meeting rooms, the offices of institutional advancement, institutional research, and several classrooms. It is here where fundraising is initiated and is also known to be the place where Bertha Palmer and Simon Haley, parents of Alex Haley, an African-American Pulitzer Prize winning writer, was best known as the author of Roots, the Saga of an American Family, and co-author of the autobiography of Malcolm X, were married. Chambers McClure Academic Center, also known as CMAC, houses the library, learning resource center, career services, several classrooms, seminar rooms, and computer labs. LEAP classes are also taught in CMAC. LEAP, L-E-A-P, is a way for working adults and other non-traditional students who are unable to attend college during the day to take evening courses and earn a degree. Also located here is the Bishop William Henry Graves Auditorium. This spacious auditorium is frequently used for student movie nights, beauty and scholarship pageants, chapel services, and concerts. Recently, the auditorium was host to the Tennessee Supreme Court Scales Project and the Rural Gubernatorial Forum. Named in honor of Bishop Charles Henry Phillips, the Phillips Dining Hall was constructed in 2007 and expanded in 2009. It serves as the campus's central dining hall and can seat 800 guests. Formerly the campus dining hall, Kirkendall Hall, now currently houses the offices of security as well as meeting spaces upstairs. Downstairs in that same facility are the physical education offices, the fitness center, and the Dragon's Den. There are several residential halls on campus, including Cleves and Jenny Elaine. The residential facilities provide free local telephone service, internet and cable services, as well as wireless computer facilities. Millennium Hall is the science, mathematics, and business building. The building includes 12 classrooms, six laboratories, four lecture rooms, and the business lab. The facility supports science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM, programs and prepare students to be truly competitive as they enter business and global marketing careers. The James Franklin Lane Health, Physical Education, and Recreation Building houses the athletic offices, a gymnasium, swimming pool, and athletic training facilities. The gymnasium is home to the Dragons volleyball and basketball teams and often the location of weekly chapel services. The new amenities building is a gathering place for students where they can participate in recreational and intramural programs. It features pool tables, table tennis, and theater-style seating. The center is also used for dances and student movie nights. Water Tower Place was purchased in April of 1996. The building was the former Bud and Weiss manufacturing company which designed and made furniture. Today, the building is home of the Office of Student Affairs and Housing, the CyberCAF, which offers a place for meetings, study, and live entertainment, and the Lane College Bookstore. 
Water Tower Place is also where you will find the Office of First Year Experience. Here, new students can meet and find a quiet place to study or just hang out. Shy Hall is named in honor of President Reverend Peter Randolph Shy, who was later elected a bishop within the CME Church. The building is home to the Mass Communications Department. It houses WLCD-FM, Lane College's radio station, and WLCD-TV, the school's television program. The facility offers students the opportunity for hands-on experience in mass communication. The Williams Boyd Campus Center, also Lane Athletic Fieldhouse, is open to all student athletes on campus. Once a social hub, it now offers many training essentials for college athletes. The Pond on the Plain was a project by the class of 1989. The Pond offers a relaxing place for students, faculty, and staff to enjoy beautiful weather. The lawn is dotted with picnic tables shaded by live apple blossom trees and home to several turtles. This is the perfect spot for reflection, relaxation, or study. Welcome to Lane College.